first fish of the day. A little smallmouth. Hey, you know what? Not the size we're after, but first fish at a new lake. I will take it. See ya. Got that guy here on the uh, little Nico rig. This has been a technique that I I used to use quite a bit, but I tell you, when I kind of get out of it over the last couple of years, and now I'm I'm slowly making my way back into it. The reason why I like the Nico rig so much is honestly just because of the the lack of snag that it uh, brings me. I can throw this around a, a brush pile, a rock pile, you know, whatever it might be, and the chance of me actually getting getting uh, snagged is like that right there. If that was, a, let's say, a jig or a Ned rig, that would have been a goner. So it's nice having that ability to remain a little bit snag free with the Nico or a wacky. I'm gonna keep on working this bank here. Looks juicy, but it's pretty shallow. And with these temperatures, as cold as they are, the water's pretty chilly at this point. So I'll give this a little bit of a go here. And if I don't get any more bites, I'll make my way to the deeper end and let's see what happens. Colors. So gorgeous. Oops, oh, oh, oh! You just broke me off. No. He broke me off clean. Oh my gosh! I wonder if that was like a pike. There are pike in here. I'm gonna throw my nedro over there. Go back. I didn't even, I felt, all I felt was the bite. I felt the pull and then it just, boom. Snapped clean. Large mouth. Cool. On the old Ned. This guy came out of nowhere. Picked it up. Another largey. Sweet. It's a little one. We'll take it. This is a bigger fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, let's go. Oh boy. We're going for a ride, boys and girls. Oh my gosh, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on, get in here. Come on. Big small mouth. Like a toad. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Yes, sir. Mega monster. Well, that was awesome. I'm gonna keep him in the water here. What I'm gonna do just get a couple selfies and big for the win. Whew. Let's freaking go. That was awesome. You know, you will never ever know what you come across in a new body of water. Oh, oh, did you 
guys see that? Oh my freaking. I hope you guys saw that. That was absolutely insane. He came up, a giant small mug watch came up and watched it, and then it took a chunk out of it. Almost took a chunk out of it. Oh my gosh. Talk about. Straight ahead, there's a little downed tree with some rocks. There's got to be something over here. Either I'm going to get snagged or I'm going to catch a fish. One of the two is bound to happen. Right up on the bank. I'm gonna let it sit. He's on it. He's on it. Can you see that? Oh my gosh! What the heck? Dude, what in the world is going on? That's like the fourth or fifth one that I have hooked into and I can't. My hook now? What's going on here? Okay, my hook is sharp. Am I missing something? Is there something happening that I need to be aware of? And they're all big bites. They're not little dinky bites. When you when I set back on the hook, you can tell it's got some weight to it. So I know they're not dinky like bluegill. Unless they're giant bluegill, maybe. Which I'm okay with. I'll take those. He's on it. He got it. He got it. It's a nice one too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gotta get out of the trees. Get out of the trees. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. It's a giant. It's a freaking toad. Freaking go! Come on! Okay. I'm gonna back up here a little bit. See, I knew it. I knew I wasn't going crazy. I know they're big fish. I could just feel. By the way they were picking it up, I could tell they were decent sized fish. This one. Wow. I'm going to be honest. Out in California, we do not get smallmouth that big usually. Unless you go in the big deep lakes. Are you freaking joking? Oh, I love Minnesota. In the water. It's probably a solid two and a half. Later, buddy. Thanks for the fun. I'm gonna try for some pike. I told myself I would bring this out and give it a few casts. I've never caught a pike before, so I did hook one. I should clarify. I did hook one, but it came off. I'm not a pike expert, but I've heard that they like to kind of hang out forever. They're not really pinky. So, I'm just going to throw this around and see what happens.
get a couple of small mouth on this too, or large mouth. It's possible. That's kind of the cool thing about spinner bait. Just about anything and everything will eat it. Freaking smoked it. Something just freaking smoked it. Oh, 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 I just got hit again. He's on. Look at that. Not a pike. It's a large one. Hey. Whatever. I'm taking it. Heck yeah, man. You guys know me by now. I don't ever, ever get mad about catching a fish. I don't care if it's a freaking creek chub or a... Oh my gosh. Dude, maybe... Did I screw this up by not throwing this from the get-go? Like, is this what I should have been throwing? I'm starting to wonder. I'm starting to question stuff here. I'm getting tap, tap, tapped. Freaking back and forth. But because I was getting some bites right here, I'm gonna try to drop this right here. Come on, Nico. Bring it home. Bring it home. You can do it. Just give me one out of here. There he is. Yeah, not exactly what I thought, but. A fish. Okay, okay. Back to the spinner bait. Back to the free candy spinner bait. It does look good in the water, though. That I can confirm. Usually when I throw a spinner bait, I like to throw a, a bait that has both a gold and a silver blade on it. Just because of, you know, these fish, I don't know what they, if they can see other things or the water clarity might throw off their their sense of vision but i always like to think it's two chances are better than one and uh you know if, if they might prefer the gold blade one day then they'll eat it but if they prefer the silver then they have that option too so nice to keep the options open a fish and I miss him what a shocker what a shocker well my worm is looking a little a little icky I should switch out but you know what go big or go home Keep the same setup for as long as I possibly, possibly can. Tuck in the hook a little bit. Get back in the action. some bass without even trying now. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one. Got him. Come on now. Let's freaking go. What a beautiful looking smallmouth too. Gorgeous looking fish. So I just in this large mouth. I thought it was kind of interesting. You guys see that? Big, big gash on him. I wonder, I guarantee you that was probably either from a pike or a muskie. Dude got lucky. That is for sure. So I'm kind of going back the way I started here. I was I was working my way up this way over to the rocks, that point. But just in lieu of time and trying to make my way back towards the car, I figured, hey, why not come back down the same way I came up? The bite was hot. I was catching a lot of fish, so Gave them a little bit of time to cool off. Maybe they're maybe they're back. Maybe they're ready to bite again. And we'll see what happens. So throwing the Nico. That seemed to be the the main bait of choice today. But I'm also going to throw that spinner bait again and see if I can't get more fish on that because they were biting it earlier and then the bite kind of slowed down um, all together actually. So and I was throwing that spinner bait and. I just wasn't getting any bites, so I put it down and picked back up the Nico, and I got a few more fish off camera, but this seems to be getting it done, so I'm going to keep on moving here, let's see if I can't get bit a couple more times. That's gonna do it. Crazy day. No expectations, new lake, cold out. It's I, It was really gonna be a hit or miss. And luckily we got out there and found some fish. A, 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 quite a few small ones, but you know, I'm not picky. I'll take it. And then we ended up getting a couple really nice small mouths. So it was actually kind of a crazy deal. Cause when I first pulled out, there was nobody there. No trailers, no bank fishermen, no kayakers, there was nobody. So that made me a little nervous for two reasons, obviously. First being the bite was terrible, but um, also more importantly, the regulation. I didn't know if maybe, I thought, well, hey, maybe the lake's closed. Maybe there's something going on. So I, you know, looked it up and checked the regulations. Everything seemed okay. So I took a chance and didn't know what to expect. And, and I'm so glad I went out there. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, all that good stuff. I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. So, appreciate the love, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace!